Hi, my name is Ben Hedges and I'm a SharePoint developer and instructor for Point 8020. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create event receivers for SharePoint 2010 in Visual Studio 2010. For my code demonstration, I have a subsite called Job Definitions that contains a list that is also called Job Definitions. This list contains details of approved jobs for the organization. In this example, the job consists of a title and some salary information. Let me show you this now. You can see the columns in my list and you can also see that I have two approved jobs prepared for the demonstration. As the list contains salary information, I have secured the site and it is only available to administrators. I will now go back to the main site. On the main site, I have one more list that I have created. It is a list named Open Positions and I will use that to record vacancies in the organization. I will now verify the security that has been applied to the subsite. At the parent site, I will log in as a standard user. And now let me look at all site content. User and EJ cannot access the subsite. I will now create an event receiver that will ensure that the title I use for an item in the open positions list matches a title in the job definitions list in the secure site. I will create a VB project and from the project creation dialog, I will click event receiver. I will provide a name of Verified Job. In the Event Receiver Settings page, I will select that the event I want to define is a list item event, and I will choose to handle the item as being added and the item as being updated events. Note that the events can be broadly split into before and after events. In my example, I want to intercept the event and stop it, so I need to use the is being or before events rather than the was or after events that I can see further down the list. I will click Finish. In the Event Receiver, I will add a helper function that will check to see if the title I'm using for the new item in the Open Positions List item matches a title in the Job Definitions list in the secured site. Creating a function means that I can use the same logic from both the item adding and the item updating event. The first line of code retrieves the title of the list item from the SP Item Event Properties class. This properties class holds information about an event including before and after properties. In the case of a before event, I need to examine the after property, as this holds the value that would be assigned to the field if my event allows it. I then create a few variables and I prepare a privileged token to gain access to the secured site. As the try block starts, I use elevated permissions and then access the job definitions web and the job definitions list. In a for each loop, I compare each title that I retrieve from the list of approved job definitions to the value that the open positions item title would be set to in the after properties. And if I find a match, I set the Boolean allowed flag to true and exit the loop. If there's no match, the flag remains at false. That's all the code I need in that function. I will now override the item adding method. I will wrap this in a try catch block. In the try block, I will ensure that I am adding an item to the open positions list, but I don't want to check the title for other lists. If it is the open positions list, then I will call the check item function. If the result is that the title is not allowed, then the if statement runs and sets the properties.status to cancel with error and prepares an error message. The final step is to call the properties.cancel. This cancels the event and the item is not added to the list. The user is presented with the message. To complete my scenario, I also need to override the item updating method as I want to ensure that a user doesn't change a previously acceptable job title to a title that is not approved. Now let me deploy and test this. I'm still logged in as Andy J and Andy does not have access to the subsite and the job definitions list as we saw earlier. Let me try and add an open position for the job title that has not been approved. And you can see that that has been cancelled. Now let me try with a title that is approved. And that has been created.